and we are back at the flea market but before we get going this beautiful and right off the bat we did find a bunch of video games and here is sega gt and jet set radio for the original xbox dual disc and yes it comes with the disc that is actually a surprise but what is that i see oh my goodness madden 08 without the disc fuck here are some bootleg pikachu dog toys i don't know i should have picked one up honestly and here is the first nintendo wii with wii sports a wii fit board and guitar hero world tour for the wii the guy wanted 50 bucks for it I didn't pick it up. That's the first we did. Walking by this booth, and we found a Nintendo 64 for $40. No cables, no controllers, no games, no nothing. And here at my favorite random seller, he's got a bunch of Hot Wheels cars. And a bunch of Pokemon cards as well, just randomly. I do not know how he gets this stuff, but he also has a bunch of pins and a bunch of magazines and more cars. Yeah, I don't know how he gets all this stuff. Um, okay, so this is the display for light bulbs at the Home Depot. I don't know, dude. Oh, nice golf clubs. Ooh, Gengar slippers. Nice. Found some more games, a bunch of games actually, but unfortunately they were all water damaged. It could have just been due from the morning or they've experienced water damage. Walking over to my second favorite seller. Yeah, I'm gonna pet the Bobcat for good luck. And this is a real deer head, okay. Here's a DW kick pedal that actually works, as well as a little laptop. And on the other side, here's a blue Yeti, a blue Nano to be exact. Comes with the box, the manual, and everything. And oh hey, I could use some of these right now. So originally, I was walking over to this old PC here, but on my way there, this caught my eye. A box full of VHSs about psychic abilities. Here we have one about astral projection and develop psychic abilities now. I am kicking myself that I didn't buy this because I could have sent it to the found footage festival. Walking along we found a little EV coin pouch as well as a stereo headset for your neck. I picked up neither of these although I probably should have picked up that EV. Mocking along and we just seeing a bunch of junk here. Although there is a Sega Genesis underneath all these Star Wars toys. I'm not a Genesis guy and I wouldn't want to take a chance on this because you typically when they're loose like that, it probably doesn't work. Here's Cameo, one of the first games created by Rare after the Microsoft acquisition. Some more 360 games, L.A. Noir, a phenomenal game, it's been re-released in every single console imaginable. Fear 2, played the shit out of Fear 1, and a bunch of junk DVDs, and World of Warcraft, the original, and I probably would have picked it up if the box wasn't in shambles. Ew, this is gross. Here's some loose games, and honestly, nothing really worth owning. Not even Madden 08. Oh, this caught my eye. Sneak King, sealed. Alright, I'll take it. Here's a Hyper King controller for the Retron 5. I actually have one, and I kind of do like this controller. Although, again, if it's loose like this, probably doesn't work. So, I didn't take the plunge on that. Here's a Macross comic book. This isn't a re-release from a Japanese edition. It's just an original comic book. But, more importantly... Pop Stations in the Wild! This is PXP, the third iteration. Oh, man. Shout out to Ashens. Here are some extremely sun-damaged N64 games that are priced way too high. No thanks. Here's a bag full of Pokemon cards and a bunch of other random toys as well. But this did catch my eye. Some 64 games, but uh, nothing really worth looking at. But we do have a Mattel Electronics Basketball LCD game from the late 70s. Um, I passed on this. I'm not a collector of these. Some funky shoes and some funky games. This Sonic Generations has seen better days. Same with this Sonic Unleashed. Mystery game and a Borderlands. No thanks, I'm good. Now here's a blast from the past. It is the Xbox 360 Universal Remote. And an iPod. <laughs> nice. 
I had that exact iPod when I was younger. I came for the Ricky Martin cassette, but I stayed for the video games. All bunk, nothing really worth anything. I'm gonna blur this out because this is pornography. Loose Blu-rays and DVDs, but this did kind of catch my eye is the Pokemon Advent Calendar for Mega Bloks. If I was more on a Pokemon, I'd pick it up, but they're hella ugly and it's opened already. And freeze frame, Garfield soap. Here we have some DVDs and Blu-rays, but this is what is interesting. Here is a collection of official and bootleg animes. For example, this Hoshinengi is a bootleg. Now this isn't the remake of Hoshinengi, it's the original. Hey, fruits basket. There we go, here's a PSP, a silver PSP. But uh, yeah, no battery, no battery compartment. The headphone jack was a little rusty. The screen? I don't know what's up with that. It's coming apart and the buttons feel pretty stuck and a little janky. Obvious pass. Here's a Shadow Blade arcade stick. Good click on the joystick. All the buttons seem to work. If I was in the market for one, I'd probably pick it up. Whoa, okay. This is interesting. It's a Vivi figure. And yes, I did pick up that figure. And that is where we're going to end today's video. Got a lot of good stuff, and probably my best find was the Vivi from One Piece. For 10 bucks, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Sorry this episode was pretty weird. There was a lot of weird things there today. But thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.